about to react to this girl's video who is saying why uh, OnlyFans ruined her life. If you like this video, if you like the content put now, it would really help me out if you could subscribe. Also share this with anyone you think that needs to see this. If you know a girl who is doing OnlyFans, a girl considering it, a guy who, you know, <laughs> like, I don't know, if guys are considering it, whatever you want to think, whoever you think could use this, make sure you share it. Let's get right into it. Reason why it's a scam. If you're watching this video and you're just like coming to this video just because you're curious and you don't know who I am or what I do. I remember years ago, one of my best friends, her name is Carol, and she is very successful on the internet. It's just so many girl followers and she gets all kinds of brand deals and all kinds of contracts and she worked really really hard on marketing herself we met with each other we were like at the beginning stages of branding our business and i remember her telling me so many times she said girl you better brand yourself the right way it might take a little longer and it might take a little more work but it'll be much more worth it at the end of the day i didn't listen to her i saw the likes and i saw the followers like pouring in with all these guy followers but i didn't really think anything of it and i just saw the likes like that's really all i cared about was like i'm getting likes i'm getting followers super super quick by doing this and this is what works and then took the easy way out when it came to making money for a while i definitely was a hundred percent against making it only fans i was like no like i'm already doing too much on instagram like things i'm posting my booty all out like i don't i shouldn't make it only fans but a lot of people kept talking to me about it like oh you can make this much money a month and i just kept hearing about it all the time like to make an only fans so finally i did it like within the first couple months like right when i made it i was making 10 fans a month like like i was making such easy quick money and i honestly started off by just basically posting the same things i was posting on instagram and, and this is why it is a scam after a couple of months you're going to lose subscribers because they're like only signing up because of the hype only fans has a reputation that's the thing when you hear of an only fans you're, you're automatically, or even a private Snapchat, you're automatically thinking like there's porn, there's nudes, there's sex tapes all on this thing. They're really subscribing just to see the hype, right? They're trying to see if they can see your nudes, they're trying to see if they can see your sex tapes, all of that. But then when they see what you're actually posting on there, and if it doesn't reach like what they imagine and then what they want to see doing, then they're gonna unsubscribe. Unless you are okay with being that girl and doing those things and making that a full-time job where you're basically going to be transitioning into a like a porn star number two people are okay okay so let's talk about point number one you know i really like this video because i'm gonna do a reaction to another one that hafiz from the roommates did about because he actually consults in a lot of um, OnlyFans uh, models call him or consult with him and talk about how it's ruined their life. And a lot of people don't talk about the very, very severe downsides of it. But this girl in the beginning, I didn't show it, but she talks about how she was a Christian and people were judging her because she was supposed to be a Christian and blah, blah, blah. But then she goes into why this ruined her life because this is the crux. When you put, when you sexualize yourself, when you present yourself sexually for men, okay? A lot of women think that men desire them uh, like a girlfriend. They desire them in a way where a man would have intentions. I need to make that clear, the word intentions. But the reality is these men are only desiring you because you have, they, they are giving you sexual attention. So uh, men's intentions and sexual attention, they're like in another hemisphere for men, okay? For us as women, it kind of flows in and out. You know, if we like a guy, if we, if we want to give him sexual attention, we actually a lot have intentions towards him. We actually like him. But that is not what men feel. You are gratifying a sexual urge. He has a sexual need. But after a while, once that newness wears off, He's seen it before. He's like, okay, she's, all right, I've seen her. This, How many booty shots do I really need? How much? It, so then you have to keep upping the ante. The, the, the newness wears off. The novelty of it wears off. 
and men move on to the next thing because there's a dime a dozen women who can grab a man's sexual attention. But as we know in this dating market, why dating is such trash, why women are having a hard time finding a boyfriend, a husband, or long-term relationship, whatever it is they're looking for, is because most of us present sexually. We continue to put ourselves out there sexually. And this girl says, it started on Instagram. A lot of people say, well, it's not that bad. Everyone does it. It's no big deal. Now listen, I, listen, if that's what you want to do, I'm off. Like, hey, go live your best life. I'm speaking to women who um, are maybe on that cusp or, or they're thinking about it because I don't think we we know, understand how a man's psyche works when it comes to these things. So when you are putting yourself out sexually, that is what he sees you as for the most part, for the type of men you want. Now, if you want a Pookie, Ray Ray, a Chad, Brad, like these guys who, you know, just want to get it in. If you want it kind of a hobosexual, a guy who um, is not building uh, an empire, building his own brand, building whatever he's trying to do, working hard, just the average guy trying to work hard and, and do this and that, you're going to find you're going to get low quality men who will want to be in a relationship with you, but it still is based off sexuality. And remember, however you get a man is how you keep him. And it seems like good money because it's this fast money comes in and it gives you validation when you get this sexual attention from men. What she say? I got all these likes. And I say it over and over. A woman putting her body sexually out there on the internet, period. I do not care what anyone has to say. She wants sexual attention and validation from men. Now, she may not think of it that way or anything else, but that is what she's looking to get. But it is a slippery slope. And once your newness wears off, there's a new girl on a block. Uh, what they say, there's a girl turning 18 every day. So keep that in mind. Your photos all day, every day. Right, let's move on now. Where you're basically going to be transitioning into a, like, a porn star. Number two, people are going to steal your photos all day every day even if you don't have a following whoever subscribes to your account can take your pictures and screenshot and screen record whatever you do it's not secured it's not private like anybody can take your stuff the the really hard thing to accept for me is that like my anything i had posted on there is all over the internet like you can type in my name and there's like the reddit account that pops up and it doesn't have everything but it has a lot of stuff that i had posted on there and it sucks because if i go and message them and say can you take this all down out of the kindness of your heart because i've transitioned and i'm giving my life over to god and i don't want the stuff on the internet i bet they don't give a crap about how i feel so your stuff is on the internet for life and you have to be okay with that if you have a little girl one day and you want your little girl never to do stuff like that but they type in mommy's name and all that stuff pops up what are you gonna do and another thing about it is that people took my videos and my pictures that i had posted on there and they went and made a separate like account pretending to be me to make money off my selling my photos and my videos that i posted on there and so even if i shut it all down there's accounts that are frauding and pretending to be me to make money off of those photos and videos that I had made. Three. That okay. Is a hard okay. To so done. All right. So we see number two, people take your image, your image, things live on the internet forever. So whatever you put out there, if you, you know, say you're 18 to 25 and you, whatever decisions you make, if you make a decision like this, if you decide to do this, um, as a young woman that will last forever. One of the, uh, I think there's a uh, Punani star. I, I never heard of her before I entered this space. I was like, who? Uh, someone showed me something called Black. I mean, well, no, no. I wasn't looking at it, but they told me about her, her Black. That's what she's known for. I don't know. But um, her name's Lana Rhodes. I think she even has a podcast or she's on YouTube. I don't know. But one of the things she's complaining about is that people, she's trying to transition to a new career or do something else. And people only see her as her past, as, what her, as a Punani star. And why wouldn't they? Because you put the thing most precious out there for the entire world to see. And men do not respect you. They just don't. And a lot of times, um, you don't know who are these people looking at you. It could be whatever weirdo, uh, traffickers, whoever. And they will, whatever they have to do, they, will, they can um, use your images to make money off you. 
uh, use it to blackmail you when you try to scrub the internet of yourself, all types of things. So a lot of women, you know, they come with this idea that they're going to be like Kim Kardashian, who her, her, her tape leaked with Ray J and they think, oh, well, uh, then, you know, she blew up from that. That's the formula, but that's different because I mean, I don't know if it was leaked. I think, I think it was a come up, but I, when she, when it went out there, it wasn't her doing this. It wasn't her, you know, it was a private thing between a boyfriend and girlfriend, people in a relationship. It wasn't like, this was her lifestyle. This was an accident. We'll call it an accident. This was a mistake. So they think that they could follow that formula, but it does not work. So many women have tried to do that after her and it's not working. The novelty of that, you know, tape coming out, it, it's, it, it, it's old. Okay. And now that we have only fans and, 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 and porn is so accessible now, you know, when, I, I don't know when that leaked, but I would say maybe 2010 or so, maybe when her tape leaked, it's a whole new world. You know, social media wasn't was wasn't what it is now. So that was a novelty at the time. But now that formula's old and tired. It's dried up. Okay. So now, but if you put it out there, just understand the decisions you make today. You cannot take this back. It is forever. And this is the thing. Any man that you are thinking of, any man that when you try to change your life, if you try to go get a job, if whatever it is, a serious career and something else. This is what people will see about you. And it is going to be a mountain to try to overcome it, if it's even possible at all. All right, so I'm going to go back a little bit. Sorry, guys, I don't want to edit videos. <laughs> so we're just going to keep going. ...to be me to make money off of those photos and videos that I had made. Three, that is a hard reputation to break. Like, I don't know how many comments I get of like, you have OnlyFans, like, shut up. You got OnlyFans. Like, you're going to lose respect. I didn't have much respect to begin with because I was, you know, I picked the easy way out of posting my booty and all of that stuff all the time on Instagram. I didn't have a lot of respect because of just, like, reputation on YouTube and drama. Like, honestly, I didn't make a lot of smart choices for myself when it came to branding and marketing myself. Definitely learning to be very, very careful on myself of, like, who I choose to work with. Make sure that you have very high standards for yourself if you're trying to be an influencer you are a brand so be very picky on who you work with and what you do as I'm starting to rebrand myself it's going to be very hard to break from that reputation a lot of people are going to look at me and remember that I did only fans and that I posted my booty all the time on the internet like that's something I have to be strong in as I'm transitioning into you know a different brand if you decide to do only fans you are a brand whether you have any followers or not you are still a brand like you're your name like you have to be very picky and have high standards of what you want people to know you as so if you do do that and you try to break free from that there are people that are going to remember and keep that over your head that you ever chose to make that decision in your life uh four okay so so it's kind of piggybacking to what I just said. That is going to live forever. And it is it is an uphill battle to change people's minds, to, to have people see you in a different way. The only times I really see it happening is when people enter religion, which I guess she's a Christian now, when people move into religion, and a lot of times religious communities will accept you more. Um, if you start doing charity work, um, I know there's, um, there's, there's people who have kind of ministries or charities where they actually work with like, former porn girls or former um, escort strippers and things like that where they actually go in and do the good work or she goes into some humanitarian thing. Um, but other than that, you're going to be very limited because your reputation's going to be out there. And I don't, I think the fast money seems exciting. The validation feels good. It, it, it looks so beautiful. And, and this is the deception. A lot of these OnlyFan girls, these IG models are not telling the truth about their mental health. They're not telling the truth about their reputation. They're not telling the truth about what it's really like. They're not telling the truth about how they, they think a guy's asking them on a date and they get excited and they go and, 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 and meet up with him. And then 
they realize they sleep with him and then he ghosts them. He doesn't, he doesn't even talk to them. And it happens over and over and over. And this is what happened with Brittany Renner. She wasn't an OnlyFans, but she was an IG 304. So, and now you see her, she's on this, this, uh, O'Shea Duke Jackson calls it this chitlin circuit. You know, the old churches used to do a uh, chitlin circuit, uh, for entertainment in the black community. <laughs> <laughs> and it was good. But she's on a chilling circuit right now, trying to clean up her reputation, trying to live her truth. But the reality is, it is going to be a, a near impossible task. Even if you take ownership and things like that, which I'm glad this girl's speaking out. This is a step she can take in the right direction. But there still will be a, probably a vast majority of people that will never accept you, never respect you, um, or it's going to take decades, you know, you far removed from something for people to actually uh, stop thinking about what you used to do. No, I only have two nails on my finger. You'll feel stuck in that income. For me, this is personally for me, is that now that I'm rebranding myself and I'm trying to get away from OnlyFans and not do OnlyFans, um, I see like a huge drop in my income if I don't do OnlyFans and I feel stuck sometimes that I have to continue to do OnlyFans in order to make any money. There's a lot of opportunities taken away from you. Like if I want to go be an actress, how many people are going to hire me? And so there's times where like it gets to me and I know it's the enemy, I know it's the devil, just saying like you might as well just continue doing that because you're gonna, it's gonna be really hard for you to be successful in life and do anything else. Like, if I wanna be anything else, I can't be a teacher. I can't be a teacher. I know I could be a rapper because there are rappers who are strippers. Cardi B was a stripper rapper, but I don't want to be a rapper. Um, that's always gonna get brought up or it can be searched up. They can just search up my name and then boom, all these things pop up. So might as well, you, know, you already did it. And it's gonna be really hard to walk away from it now. So you might as well just keep doing it now. <laughs> And then the fifth one. Okay, right. So there it is as well. She, this is the thing. It's a money trap. It's a money pit. There's an old movie with um, Tom Hanks called Money Pit. It's one of my favorite. I'm a huge movie buff. I'm actually going to start doing some movie breakdowns about relationship dynamics and how did we get here? How do we learn all this toxicity? But Money Pit is one of my favorites because it's about a couple who buy a house who look, it looks gorgeous. Like it is like a dream home. And then when they move in, my God, I don't want to tell you what happens, but it's a money pit. It is a complete disaster. And what they thought was beautiful, what was glamorous, what was going to give them what they want, was going to be a dream situation. They are constantly having to maintain. They are constantly having to do something to this house. And it's the same thing with this. This is a money pit because you get used to a certain income. You get used to a certain lifestyle. And it's very hard for a woman to go backwards, especially financially. Okay. So when, when you're used to being able to buy the bags, the shoes, the outfits, eat out when you want, live in a nice apartment or house, drive the nice cars, have your hair done, uh, you know, take your trips, do all this stuff for yourself. It, it is an illusion. It looks good from the outside, but there's no real financial acumen. There's no real financial discipline. You, you know, and I will say for me, um, because of my ADHD, I've always been terrible with money. In terms of managing it, it's just something my brain just has a very difficult time dealing with. And God, I've had people around me <laughs> to help me with that. But I, I, you know, when you make a, a lot of money, it just feels like it's always going to be there. It's always going to come in. And that, and, you know, and I'm seeing over and over a lot of times when pe people get fast money, look at the NBA players, NFL players, look at any sports player, look at some of the rappers, actors, people who got fast money. And, and I'm not saying that's fast money being an athlete because you, you work pretty much your whole life. But when you're young and you don't really have the wisdom on how to manage these things, you're going to be frivolous. You're going to spend money um, beyond your means. You're not thinking about savings. You're not thinking about taxes. That is another issue that a lot of the OnlyFans girls are going through right now. And so to, to stop OnlyFans, how can you stop? You've got this lifestyle you've got to afford. You've got back taxes to pay. Do you really want to go live back with your mother? Do you really want to downgrade your lifestyle because you're used to here and you feel like you've arrived? Okay, but you have not arrived yet. What you've done is shortcut the, the system. 
and eventually you will go broke. You will, you, it, it, the train will run out. And if you are not smart and wise with your money, which it, I don't believe just even women making decision do this are very wise. Or if you're not that very tippy, tippy top of OnlyFans and you're able to really keep that up, you, you you're, it's, where do you think it's going to end? This girl's really telling the truth about this and I appreciate it. So please do not give her hate, guys. Don't go to her channel, things like this, because we're getting a rare look. We're getting an honest woman who has done these things. And what have we been saying for so long? We 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 want this. We want these things to stop. We want we we are tired of this type of of uh, type of women, and we we want them to um, really repent of their ways. And this is a woman who was really trying. I don't know if she fell back in it, but at least she's saying these things so please don't you I mean you leave comments that you want on my channel but please do not go to her channel okay it's just not fair to do that um it seems like she's really trying to change her ways and in regardless what is that going to do just to bash the girl okay worth more and that's something that i didn't to walk away from it now so you might as well just keep doing it now <laughs> and then the fifth one is just you're worth more and that's something that i didn't realize about it when I had signed up it's just you're worth more than like people paying and see like your body and stuff like your body is worth so much more I I'm still sexy and I'm still cute I like my body you know what I'm okay. saying I'm going like I think we know where that's going. So she's just saying she didn't really know her self-worth. I don't know how she grew up, if she didn't have a dad, whatever. But you will see this a lot. In particular, women who did not grow up with a strong father in the household, a dad to really discipline them and correct them, to really teach them things. Um, you will see they are generally more susceptible to things like this because they don't really know understand their value. They haven't had a man. The, the only time they've really gotten attention from men or any type of anything from a man, it was sexual. Or if dad was out of the home, a lot of times moms pre present that dad as, you know what, he's just a provider. He's there just to for a check. Or sometimes the dad is still coming in and knock down mama and, so, and then leave some money. Okay? And what is that teaching our daughters? So I have more points that I can I can go into. Um, Hafiz, when I do his video, I think he, he actually dives a little deeper into this. So I'm definitely going to do that. But you guys let me know um, if you want to see more content like this. It's a little bit longer than I usually do. But I thought it was important to highlight. And, and, and um, I, I think for what a lot of guys are going to have to realize is that this culture and um, the toxic feminism and all these different things have really brainwashed and really programmed this generation in particular to really do the do the most do the wildest and so it's, it's going to be a long battle but slowly i think we're going to start seeing people wake up and and stop doing these things you know are we going to save everybody no do we want to save everybody not really but this is a good you know if you know a girl if you know anybody who is considering doing only fans please send her this video or if you know a girl who is doing a lot of sexual stuff on the internet and and listen you might want to send it to her because it could possibly save her life um, and in the meantime, make sure you guys uh, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.